Today's date is August the 1st. It's midsummer. The sky is clearing and I'm setting up my telescope. I hope to locate a black hole this evening. If you've been studying astronomy, you probably know that you can't see a black hole. So how do we locate one? Fortunately, that problem was resolved over 30 years ago. In the early 1970s, astronomer Tom Bolton was studying a powerful source of X-rays. This high-energy radiation was streaming towards Earth from the constellation Cygnus. Working at the David Dunlap Observatory north of Toronto, he determined the precise location of these X-rays and identified a star that seemed to be involved, HDE 226868. This highly luminous supergiant star was behaving strangely. It was wobbling. The wobble had a period of 5.6 days. Motion like this usually means the star is locked in an orbit with another star. But there was no other object visible. Tom Bolton came to the conclusion that this supergiant star had an invisible companion, a black hole. A controversial announcement at the time, but it is now acknowledged that Dr. Bolton had identified the first black hole. This may be the most important celestial observation ever made in Canada. Black holes are incomprehensibly dense objects, warping time and space in unimaginable ways, and giving rise to some fantastic speculation. Some researchers believe that black holes may create shortcuts to other parts of the universe possibly even pathways to other universes. This black hole in Cygnus is labeled Cygnus X1, the original name for the X-ray source. To locate it, we need to find the star HDE 226868. The first step in finding this star is to locate the constellation Cygnus, the swan. Look south on a clear summer evening and you will notice three bright stars forming what is called the Summer Triangle. The stars Vega, Deneb and Altair create this familiar shape. The bright star Deneb locates the tail of the swan. Deneb is an Arabic word meaning tail. The other bright stars that make up the body of Cygnus also have Arabic names. Astronomers label the stars in a constellation using the Greek alphabet, usually by order of brightness. Because Deneb is the brightest star in this constellation, it is labeled as Alpha Cygni. The next brightest star is Beta Cygni, and so on. We are interested in the seventh brightest star, Eta Cygni. The black hole and its companion star are very close to Eta Cygni. You don't need binoculars or a telescope to see this star. It is bright enough to see with the unaided eye. When you look at Eta Cygni, you are looking directly towards Cygnus X1. If you have a telescope, you will find Cygnus X1 very close to Eta Cygni. I use astronomy software to locate objects like this. There are a number of astronomy software packages available. I'm using Starry Night. With the software running on my laptop, I have set up a view that allows me to compare what I am seeing through my telescope to the star field showing on the computer screen. With Eta Cygni at one edge of the field of view, Cygnus X1 is visible close to the center. We have found a black hole. If you have a digital camera capable of taking long exposures, you may be able to capture an image of the star associated with Cygnus X1. Using a sturdy tripod, try an exposure of two minutes. The stars will leave trails as the Earth rotates, but you may find the faint signature of Cygnus X1's companion star. This is an image I captured with a camera using a simple tracking device. The stars Deneb and Eta Cygni are located here. Zooming in on Eta Cygni, we see that even this pixelated image shows HDE 226868. There is another option for imaging objects like this. You can use one of the online robotic telescopes. SLU is one organization offering this service. 
In this session, I'm using the internet to control one of the SLU telescopes on the Canary Islands, the other side of the Atlantic from my home. Setting up to control this telescope requires entering the celestial coordinates of Cygnus X1. Right ascension and declination are numbers on a celestial grid that is used to locate objects in space. These are the coordinates for Cygnus X1. At the appointed time, the telescope rotates and focuses, delivering an image of our target star. This wide field view from the same observatory includes the star Eta Cygni and Cygnus X1. Remotely operated telescopes give all of us access to sophisticated equipment. The pioneering work of Tom Bolton and others involved in this discovery of Cygnus X1 took place at the David Dunlop Observatory in Richmond Hill, north of Toronto. This telescope is the largest in Canada and is often open to the public. Worth a trip if you're visiting the Toronto area. Locating objects like Cygnus X1 requires recognizing constellations and understanding the relationship of the rotating Earth to the night sky. If you are new to astronomy, recognizing the constellation Ursa Major, the Big Dipper, is a good place to start. View our Ursa Major video for an overview of this important constellation. You'll find more science and technology videos and projects at our website, hyloroad.com. <laughs>